A statue honoring miners. Pretty meaningless now. Joe. Sam? You old bridge jumper, how you been? What's the calendar say? Two years, Joe. It's been two years. Too long. Heard you showed up yesterday. Boys give you trouble? Uh, maybe a little. But don't worry. It's hard for me to blame them. After the mine closed, well, it ain't easy to put food on the table. Don't let that weigh on you. No one else has lost their legs recently. I noticed you weren't at the bar last night. Went home after the service. The cripple takes it out of you. Normally, I'd be rotting away in my recliner, but I like to come out, see the decorations. Pay my respects to old iron here. This town's been a mining town before I was born, and it'll be one after I die. It's good to get out and celebrate your roots every now and then. I don't have the same perspective on Miner's Day that other people have. No, I suppose you wouldn't. So, how have you been holding up? Terribly. But Anna keeps me young. How'd you ever let her get away? Uh, you probably know better than me. I heard all about it. Still, I always liked you. Straight shooters are a rare breed these days. I like a man that can look me in the eye and say what he means. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? I wish. Just about the only guy I could talk hockey with. Not football? I want to talk football. I could just grab anybody on the street. Dennis actually enjoys a man sport. But no, I haven't seen him. I have places I need to be, but it's good to see you. Just promise you won't wait two years before saying boo again. <laughs> I'll do my best. Joe has no idea where Dennis went. Someone must have seen him after the fight. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. Hey, don't remember seeing you in town before. Passing by? I was born in Basswood. I was raised in Basswood, though I left for a few years. When you managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. Why don't you then? Yeah, sure. I'm just gonna take my millions of dollars and make a run for it. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. I came here every morning before work to share a coffee with Anna. No luck so far, but I should keep digging around. Someone must have seen Dennis. I don't imagine Walter had obituaries in mind when he became editor-in-chief.
Remember when this whole celebration used to be twice as big? Back when this town wasn't just a dead horse. <laughs> Now I've gone and made a bit of a mess. Oh, Sam, is that you? Dear, please, could you help an old doddering woman? You know, if you carry fewer things, you tend to not drop as much. You haven't changed a smidge, have you? Thank you so much. You're always such a dear. Say, Christina, have you... Oh, Sam, it's been years. It really is so nice to see you again. Yeah, likewise, but... I wanted to come to the funeral yesterday, but just thinking about it, oh dear. Now, I know you want to interrupt her, because I want to interrupt her. So eyes on me, buddy. Happy thoughts, deep breaths. Yeah, well, uh, speaking of the... Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Ugh, oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Poor child only has Kathy now, and... Well, far from me to criticize or anything, but these last few months, Kathy hasn't been all there, if you know what I mean. Well, hopefully this tragedy will be a wake-up call for her to be more present. She should take a few weeks off to be with Joan. I know you would never refuse. Don't you agree? Yeah, of course. I'm sure if poor Kathy would only ask him for the time Ah, uh, but look at me. I talk and talk and talk, but you had something to say, didn't you? Have you seen Dennis today? Dennis? No, it's odd, actually. He usually stops in here Sunday mornings. Like how you and Nick used to come over from the paper with Anna every Friday. You three always seem so happy. Oh, but you, Sam, how have you been doing? It's been, well, you know cruise control? I've been on cruise control. You might miss it once it's gone. Life rarely lets you coast for long. You look well. I've been better, hung over this morning. You know what's good for that, coffee. I know, Christina, not right now, I gotta go. Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. I used to be a regular a few years ago. Oh right, you're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. You could say that, yes. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here, it's nice. So quiet there's no rush hour, I guess. Right?
love you will be. Oh, thank God. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. I mean, that's what you did for pretty much all the bass loose at the time. You may have to get used to it. I was. I just Yo, get out the way. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. That's enough. Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Honestly, I don't remember last night. You saw me blackout drunk. Not my finest hour. I would say not. After your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. And I tried to get you to hand over your keys. But you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. <laughs> How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. Sometimes, doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover, but I find in some cases, time is the best medicine. My mom used to say that all the time. Now she only says it a lot. Sounds like a wise woman. Listen to her advice. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask, why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. Oh, you'd make sales. But you don't get to know anyone, ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? What do you want from him? I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll think about it. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? So, the wake... I, um... Uh, none of us were on our best behavior. Nick would have been happy you showed up, no matter how anything else went. I left early myself to go check on Joan. She was sad before last night, but after she saw you... Heartbroken. You're supposed to be her godfather, but whatever you said to her... I didn't mean... If that's what happens when she's around you, maybe just stay out of her life. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. 
And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me jawing instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. Three boxes of codeine. Five tubes of anti-inflammatory gel. Sam, I'm busy. Hiking is an activity best done alone on a Sunday afternoon. Now, I can't just have you hanging around here all day like a ghost. It's a free country. Hey, don't give me that. People have been complaining, so don't let me see you here again. You fascist. What you just... I'm just doing my job. It's nothing personal. Looks like you're not the only one who started off on the wrong foot today. Sorry you had to see that. Some people you just can't reason with. Speaking of, you're still in town. That person you were talking to? Who's that? A lost soul. Vagrancy isn't a crime, but loitering and trespassing are. I try to be understand, polite, but it's hard when no one is polite back. People call you pig or fascist just for doing your job. Uh, Declan, I've got places to be. Right. Don't need me gabbing at you all day like I was Christina or something. <laughs> Woo! That girl could talk. Just remember, this town don't always respect the things you do. Trust me, I know. You haven't seen Dennis today, have you? Why are you looking for him? I wanted to apologize for last night. Huh. I'll just stay out of his way for a day or two. I heard you messed up Dennis pretty good last night. I'm not judging. His head's full of smoke. It takes a while to clear it out. I don't want to keep you, officer. Have a good day. Keep your nose clean. It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. At least the basswood jungle is still standing.
bug. What are you doing out here? Hey, Muley. <laughs> Waiting for my mom to get off her shift at the pharmacy. Drawing. I got a new journal after I left the old one somewhere. <laughs> See? Um, heard you were asking about Dad last night, and <laughs> people got mad. That does tend to happen when I ask questions. People get pissed. Sorry I got pissed at you last night. I just... People keep talking down to me. It's just this town, you know? This place. It feels like I'm suffocating. I can't breathe. I can't think. I can't stand my mom. I don't like school. Well, except for science. And just... When I imagine myself in the future, I just don't, I don't know. I don't see this place or these people. I'm somewhere else, anywhere else. I know it's stupid, just. It's not stupid. If you want, you can go anywhere in the world, have adventures, fall in love. I mean, that's what I've been told anyway. Gross. Okay, well, that other stuff sounds okay, though. Thanks for listening. I got grown-up stuff I gotta do. I've got kid stuff I gotta see about. So, we're both busy. Betting there'll be a few more cups before she leaves. <laughs> Some things never change. Sam, I didn't think you'd actually show up. I didn't think I would either. But hey, sometimes we surprise ourselves. So, uh, I hear you got in a fight after I left the wake? I was so wasted at that point, it's all just a big, heavy blur. Yeah. After saying I didn't want to drink, I went home and drank. Long night. Yeah. Sounds about right. We all deal with stress in our own ways. I apparently hit Dennis. Yeah, speaking of, you haven't seen him today, have you? Why? Afraid your powerful blows laid him up? So, what are you working on? <laughs> I'm working on an article on how nature does its best to reclaim the land after a strip mining operation. Why are you looking for Dennis? I can tell something has you spooked. I can always tell. Go on. Tell her. You could honestly use a non-imaginary person to confide in. She might slow me down. Or try to involve the cops. She might do those things, yes, or she might be someone who you can trust, who can help. I woke up 
today, and my shirt was covered in blood. Blood? What happened? I don't know. Last night, pills and alcohol mixed. It's all a blur. That's why I'm looking for Dennis. Have you tried the Basswood Jungle? He likes to work weekends. No, not yet. I'll do that right now. Sam, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, uh, nah. I'm just gonna do my own thing. <laughs> oh, Sam. What have you done? It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Is that Sam Higgs? Trying to get back in the newspaper game? I thought you got the message last night. Of course, it was hard to tell. Considering you let Declan do your talking for you. Look, fellas. You know, Basswood can be a dangerous place. Well, so maybe consider just getting before something bad happened to you. I'll leave when I'm good and ready. Just make it sooner rather than later. De Declan's right down the street. Watch yourself while you're in Basswood, because we'll be watching you. It's been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here.
Dennis. Dennis. What happened? Who... Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? Focus, you can think through any problem. Sam. Sam, no, don't think about that. Don't let it in. Focus on me, Sam. Dennis. Think about that. Don't let it in. Don't give up, Sam. You almost have it. Don't let it in. Almost have it. his office. There must be some clues around. Come on, Sam. Keep it together. You can solve this. Figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you.
chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. There's nothing useful in those drawers. Dennis had his gun on him at the wake. The bullet stopped here, small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. From the angle, this was the shooter's position. Was it me? His gun is gone. He had it earlier. Where did it go? The shooter used Dennis's gun, but I didn't have it this morning. And how did I get the blood on me? A blood trail leads off. Someone or something moved through it. Me? The blood has been dis... Sam, stop it! Come back to reality! But I... I... You didn't do anything! Dennis was already dead when you arrived, can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun. How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think. You're... You're right. I can see it. I have the complete picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. 
Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. The puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter. And that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. <laughs> 